the family musical Imagine Ocean, three young fish learn valuable lessons as they sing, dance, and hunt for secret treasure. There's a map we found that led us to a treasure. But how does their world come to life? The answer is blacklight puppetry, a technique that you don't often see in New York. Recently, TDF joined Broadway star John Tartaglia, who created the show, and his cast of puppeteers to learn how you make an underwater adventure out of puppets and light. To make. Each choice teaches something, even if a mistake. Each what we do is we dress all the performers in black, and the background is black. So everything except for what we want you to see disappears. When you see something under black light, if it has something that's UV reactive in it or fluorescent, it glows. So um, the way we use it in Imagine Ocean is all of the puppets and all of the props and all the scenery pieces are painted with or are made with UV materials or UV paint. And the way that they interact with the black light, when the black lights are on, everything glows. So under regular light like this, it looks really kind of boring and flat and gray. But something about the way that your eye, you know, transmits the UV uh, light, it just makes everything pop. Each path that you take may show you things you don't know. Don't try to hold on to things that you may outgrow. Well, the puppeteers are doing a lot more than you think they are. They're really kind of using their bodies in ways that you wouldn't expect. I mean, they do a warm-up before each show. Uh, they, they pull muscles you wouldn't even believe that, you know, you, you wouldn't think puppeteers are using. I think most people think of puppeteers and puppet shows as two guys behind a curtain like this, you know, and this is kind of breaking that rule. And we're using the whole proscenium as our, as our stage, and they're using the entire stage as their, as their play area. As a puppeteer, you're, you're taking whatever you would do as an actor, forgetting that you exist and applying all of that into your hand. What's nice about this puppet is he's really flexible. Um, these type of mouth Muppet style puppets are great with expression. You know, a little, a little twist of my fingers completely changes his expression. For the most part, um, when you speak with a puppet, it's basically that. You're just moving your fingers that way, but to get those little scared, you know, happy, all those little things are very, and what's nice about him is his mouth is built so he can sort of do a grimace and stuff like that. And his fins are very expressive too. It's kind of important too to forget your hand because really you have to focus on where your other performers are. You don't want to bump into them. So really, I'm not even looking at the puppet a lot. I'm checking in. But for the most part, I'm either watching a rock or watching if I'm hitting my mark. So there's a lot of awkward positioning and running in that song. It's really, it's an incredible art form and I still, you know, having been lucky enough to do it most of my life, I still am always humbled by it because it's, 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 a, it's such an amazing way to touch an audience and to make them believe. Yeah.